சார் வெல்கம் பேக் ஸோ இந்த பிஎஸ்சியில் இப்போ டிஸ்கஸ் போகிறது கிளாஸிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் கேம்ஸ் அக்கார்டிங் டு த பேசிக் ஷேப்ஸ் ஸோ மெயின்லி கேம்ஸ் ஆர் மெயின் கிளாஸிஃபைட் டு த்ரீ கேட்டகரிஸ் அஸ் இன் தட் ஷேப் அண்ட் அக்கார்டிங் டு த ஃபாலோர்ஸ் அண்ட் த கண்ட் மோஷன் ஆஃப் கன்ஸ்டைன்ஸ் ஸோ இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ இப் பின் டிஸ்கஸ் போகிறது அக்கார்டிங் டு த பேசிக் ஷேப்ஸ் ஸோ மெயின்லி த த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் பேசிக் ஷேப்ஸ் வாஸ் பிளைன் ஆர் ஃப்ளாட் ஆர் அனடிஸ் தென் வி பின் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த சர்க்குலர் பிளேட் ஸோ தென் அபவுட் அண்ட் சிலிண்ட்ரிக்கல் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த த்ரீ பேசிக் ஷேப்ஸ் தட் வாஸ் தேர் மெயின்லி த கேம்ஸ் ஹவ் பின் யூஸ்ட் இன் ஆர்டர் டு ட்ரான்ஸ்மிட் த மோஷன் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி கோன் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த கிளாஸிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் கேம்ஸ் அக்கார்டிங் டு த ஃபாலோவர்ஸ் ஸோ இட் பி த அக்கார்டிங் டு த கேம்ஸ் ஹஸ் பின் கிளாஸிஃபைட் அக்கார்டிங் டு த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபாலோவர்ஸ் ஸோ இயர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி கோன் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த கேம்ஸ் அக்கார்டிங் டு த ஃபாலோவர்ஸ் So mainly the classification according to the movement of followers is nothing but the movement of the follower or uh, the movement that takes place in the follower. As we know that cam can able to only rotate and transmit the motion but the follower is only it can able to follow the path from the cam which has been provided. So hence all the motion depends upon the uh, rotation of the cam only. Either it might be a rotational or either it might be a translation. All the motion depends upon the cams only. The function of the follower is only to follow the path of the cam as we know that so the motions of the followers are distinguished from uh, each other by the dwells rises and return so the dwells is nothing but where the stationary position or in a there is no motion takes place at that particular position or it will be we call it as an ideal position or in a stationary position rise is nothing but where the motion can able to lift and the return is where it can come back to initial position so these are the three major uh, movements of the follower so one is rise of the cam dwell of the cam and return of a cam so the rise of a cam is nothing but the motion of the cam which tend to lift the follower is known as an rise motion the rise of the cam is nothing but the motion of the cam which tend to lift the follower follower which the motion because of the motion which is producing from the cam only it can able to lift the follower so lift the follower is known as an rise in motion so to lift the follower which is rise in motion is nothing but where the cam can able to start follower can able to uh, lift the cam can able to lift the follower in a rise position dwell of the cam the rotation of the cam for the follower will be stationary at this position so the dwell is nothing but it will be in the rest condition there is no motion takes place at this particular this uh, condition so it will be in the stationary the rotation of the cam for which the follower is stationary at that particular position where that well position is given at that particular position it will be the follower is stationary that is known as an a dwell of the cam and next one is about the return of the cam so the motion or the rotation of the cam for which the follower tends to move its original position from that is known as an a return motion so where rise is where initially it starts moving and the lift takes place and the dwell means where it will be in the rest condition or it will be in the stationary position and the return means again it will be coming back to the return position that is what known as a uh, rise of a cam dwell of a cam and then a return of a cam so this is how we go we, uh, this is how we, it has been classified into the majorly the movement of the follower so which are the motions or which are the any type of motion which can be converted or which follows only it follows within this three condition one is rise one is dwell and other one is an return of the cam so these are the some of the uh, classification according to the movement of the followers so next cams are classified according to the uh, motion of the followers mainly the following ways so this is how uh, the rise or dwell or uh, return will takes place so in this so first we can able to see a rise return and rise we can able to see this r r r r indicates the rise a uh, return and rise so in between this there is a no dwell or a no rest position right so in this there is an alternate rise and return of the follower with no periods of dwell we can able to see in this initially it is take act from the axis it is taking that is rise again it's return again it's rise again it is rise uh, again is return so like this the continuously the cycle will be taking place so in there is no uh, periods of dwell or there is no rest in this particular motion when it is taking place so it is very limited in the industries so this type of uh, motions very limited in the industries and the follower has an a linear or angular displacement so mainly the followers will be having only the linear or an a angular displacement this is a one of the type that is what we call it as an rr 
rise return and rise yes next we can able to see dwell rise return and dwell you can able to see initially the dwell is nothing but an it's in the rest condition then it starts rising then it starts get return then again it is the dwell again the rise dwell again the return again the dwell so like this that cycle will be continuously repeating in this form only dwell rise return dwell in such a type of term there is a rise and a return of the follower after the dwell so in this type of uh, motional uh, motions so mainly the dwell then the rise and return after that rise and return there will be a dwell for a period of time it will be in the rest condition then again the curve starts rise again it is a return then again it will be in the rest condition rest is nothing but a dwell so this type of uh, mainly used is then the um, more commonly this uh, this type of uh, camps has been used rather than the rise return and uh, rise so there was a no dwell in that so comparing with that this type of uh, camps has been more, most widely used other than that yes, so next one is about the dwell rise uh, next one is about the dwell rise uh, dwell return dwell right so it is most widely used type of camp so the dwelling of the cam is followed by the rise and the dwell is subsequently by the return and the dwell as we know that here you can clearly observe that so dwell rise dwell return and again the dwell d r d r d so this what this d r d r d it is the most widely used cam the dwelling of the cam is followed by the rise and dwell is subsequently the return and dwell See that dwell is mainly why why that dwell will come into the picture is nothing but about an the rest condition. Why the rest condition will come because the always there will be a continuous motion, right? Then there may be a question raise there is may raise the question that is why the dwell will come into the picture. See why the dwell is coming to the picture is nothing but whenever we are doing any machining operations or machining process. So there is a small gap or a deviation which may takes place in order to perform the operations. So at that condition, at that time, the condition or in a pumping or in a making in a transfer a transformation of from one form to other form of motion. At that time, this type of uh, machining process will be used for a few seconds. For example, if you take if you take in a conveyor belt, so conveyor will build will stop at each station for a limited or a fixed time which has been set at for example 10 seconds or in a 20 seconds or in 30 seconds. Where mainly that type of uh, machines has been used in the industries, where uh, mainly in the packing industries and in the manufacturing industries, where at that particular station or at that particular point, they can able to assemble the given parts within the specified time. So at that time, what happens? The curve will be in the rest condition only. Again, after that particular time which you have given or in the particular angle, then again it starts rotating or the belt starts will be rotating. Similarly, here also for the different types of operations which is uh, used in the different machining process. So this is a dwell rise dwell return will be uh, used as this particular cam so right so this is the most widely used type of a cam and the dwelling of the cam is followed by the rise and dwell is subsequently by the return and the dwell you can able to see that initially it will be the rest again at one point particularly when it starts rise again it will be no return position it will be in the dwell only that is it will be in the stationary again it will be falling falling is nothing but either we can able to consider return or we call it as we will call it as in a fall rise fall or rise or return again immediately it starts coming to the original position again for a certain angle or a certain period or for a certain time again it will be in the dwell dwell is again it is in the rest condition so similarly again it starts moving the uh, dwell again the curve will be same form so these are the uh, three types of mainly the motions so which can be used in the industries or uh, machines in order to do the machining process thank you